Okay, math is fun. Let us um, begin looking at a few items as far as math review. Like I said, um, as far as estimating, um, really, and I mean this in a literal way, um, not much of math is required, really. If you have a um, good understanding of the basic principles and some trick, uh, you should be good to go. But regardless, there are a few things I'd like to talk about. Um, and one of them uh, is going to be um, looking at the properties of uh, a right triangle. And let me start with the Pythagorean theorem that would basically say that if you have a right triangle like the one that you see, c squared is going to be equal to a squared plus b squared, correct? So knowing any of these two dimensions will actually help you find a third one. This, the, the, another thing I wanted to um, sort of remind ourselves of is that if this angle is alpha, um, sine of alpha is going to be A over C and cosine of alpha is going to be B over C, right? And if I call this angle beta, then by that same definition, it's not too hard to show that now cosine of beta is the same as sine of alpha and um, could and then sine of beta is equal to cosine of alpha right and also let's quickly mention that the tangent of, of um, say alpha in this case is going to be a over b and these are the types of things that we're going to use later on we're going to see that we have a nice name for this and we call this a slope and it actually comes to play um, in a few um, uh, occasions. In fact, I think I might have a nice example of it. Well, this is CAT bus project. It's extremely hard to see, but um, this roof that you guys are seeing here is going to have a slope of, let's say, 1 to 12, which what it means, um, let me just arbitrarily change this to 2 to 12, but what it means is that um, now for every uh, for every run of 12 feet there is going to be a rise of 2 feet so if this is 12 and then that's going to be 2 and your slope uh, or your roof is going to um, kind of look like this Now, a simple question. Let me raise a simple question. Let's say that this dimension here is 30 feet. And this dimension here is 80 feet. Right, so if that's the case, and if I ask you to sort of give me the square footage of the roof here, now quickly, if we want to talk about this, uh, we are going to say that the square footage of that piece of the roof is going to be 30 times 80 right it but if you think a bit more about it you sort of realize that that's not the case because 30 times 80 is going to give you the square footage of a flat surface correct but if this if this surface is sloped like this line here then you'd have to make some adjustments um if you want to calculate and find out um the square footage of that roof so what you really need to do is that now you need to use that information right here to adjust this length for that for the slope well let me actually show it in another picture 
Now, if you look at the elevation of this roof, uh, this is what you see, right? You see that it is a sloped. Now, if this line again is 80, and I know that this roof is uh, has a slope of 2 to 12, then one thing that I can do is that I can say, all right, so simple math is telling me that for 12, um, for, um, for 12 feet, there's a rise of 2 feet. So what is this rise if my run is 80 feet? And then you can simply say 2 to 12 is going to be equal to x over 80. And whatever that number comes out to be is going to be your x. Um, well, in this case, it's going to be 160 over 12. And that's going to be... Um, hundred and um, thirteen point three three right so then I realize that this line is going to be thirteen point three three feet um, now I'm ready to find out this length which is now going to be using Pythagorean theorem and say C this length is going to be the square root of 80 squared plus 13 Point three squared and again these are the types of things that we're going to use and we're going to do keep in mind I'm just telling you that we need to know the properties of a triangle especially a right triangle uh, from time to time especially if there is a slope involved let's also talk about uh, uh, basic properties of a circle and I'm going to begin with the obvious so we know the perimeter of a circle is going to be equal to 2 pi r which over r is the radius or pi d if d is the diameter and then the area of the circle is going to be pi r squared which is also pi over 4 d squared right so these are the types of things that we already know but let me ask you a, a, a quick question. So if I am interested in finding out the length of this red arc, right? And all I know is that, uh, parametrically speaking, that this angle is angle alpha. So how am I supposed to find the P or length of that arc? And the argument is pretty simple. I can say that for the 360 degree, which is the full circle, I have the perimeter, right? So I expect this red line to be alpha over 360 times 2 pi r. Right, or the other words, I say that for the entire 360 degrees, I know the perimeter is 2 pi r. Um, thus, if I want to actually only look at a piece of it, and that piece is alpha, then the, the perimeter, the, the length of that piece is going to be alpha over 362 pi r. Similarly, if I have this angle as beta, and I'm interested in finding the area of the green, what do I do? I say the area of the sector is going to be is going to be uh, beta over 360 times pi r squared, right? Again, the argument is if the full 360 degree circle has an area of pi r squared and I only need beta of it, then it's going to be proportional, right? And then lastly, this is an interesting question. So let's say 
that um, I know this angle is right. I don't have to know this, but let's say that I know this angle is right. And also, let's say that I am interested in finding this area. How can I go about that calculations? Might seem a little difficult at the beginning, but it really isn't. So what I can say is that that area, before we do that, uh, just focus on this uh, sort of yellow piece. Uh, it's a sector, isn't it? So do I know how to find out the area of this yellow? Yes, I can utilize that equation right there. And let me also ask another question. Do I know how to find this area and the answer is yes it's a simple triangle I know that this length is R I know that length is R so it shouldn't be that difficult to find the area of that orange triangle and guys guess what the difference between the yellow and the orange is going to give me what I want so why don't I just put this in some math terms so the area of that segment is going to be the area of yellow which is in this case beta is 90 degrees it's a right triangle so 90 over 360 times pi r squared minus um, and the area of that um, orange triangle is going to be one half of r times r or r squared right I can simplify this 90 over 360 is 1 fourth so that's going to be pi over 4 minus 1 half times r squared it's as easy as that so these are the types of things that you know at really at the at the most we're going to deal with as far as math simple geometry simple trig but mostly basic principles oh by the way i'm probably going to send an email about this but you won't see um, the math review section in your quiz number three but that's something that we absolutely need to know for the sake of our class